Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I am Aditya. In this video, I want to show you something crazy. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so you might have heard about ChatGPT by now. It's an amazing open AI tool. Like, it's a beast, first of all. It just like, it. it's 100 times smarter chatbot, which can literally do most of the things for you. So there are certain limitations. So what we are going to do is we'll try to create, so I have a next 13 project TypeScript setup. Tailwind CSS is already installed. Now we'll try to create a simple page component. Let's see if it can do it for us. So here I'm going to say, create a code snippet of next JS page component with TypeScript and Tailwind CSS. Okay. We can ask it to pass some props, but let's keep it very simple at the beginning. So here we go. Okay. It's creating something for us. There you go. There you go. Wow. Okay. This is crazy. So we have welcome to Next.js with TypeScript CS project. Okay. It's also giving me some instructions. So that's great. Now let's copy this and I need to put this in next, sorry, page.tsx file. It's It works differently in next 13. You have the app directory and then you have the pages directory residing side by side. Let me know if you want me to have the next, next 13 tutorial as in. So here we'll be using page.tsx to render our page. Now, if I just go over here and render that page, you'll see, there you go guys, like it is there. A very basic example, but something amazing. That's great. Now what I'm going to do is, okay, this we have. Now I will tell it, okay, convert this code to Nuxt3 code. Okay, let's see if it can do it for us. So if we ask it, okay, let's see what it does. Okay. Now, if you see, it has created a view class based component. Generally, uh, like I'm not sure if anyone is using class based component in view, you can do class based component in view, but generally you have now like single file components. So in that case, okay, this is not a bad example, but again, as I said, like it has certain limitations. So sometimes you might get different answer. And I believe like I'm asking too much because Nux3 is a recent thing. And of course it is doing like this tool is more precise to answer questions before quarter four of 2021 at when this video is recorded. So in that case, I guess this is too much of a ask. Let's grab this code from here and let's ask it. Can you convert this code to view three code as a single file component? Okay. Let's specify what do we want as well. So if I hit enter, uh, okay, I guess it's still processing the previous one. So what I need to do is I need to stop and reset the thread and let's start over again. Okay, there you go. Sure. And this time it is doing it well, like to the point. Okay. Okay. Define component. Right. It's not using setup script, uh, which is fine, which is fine, but we have a view code. Let's see if it could do. Uh, okay, let it finish. Okay, let it, let's say with setup script here, single file component with setup script. Let's see if it could do that. Okay, and the setup script. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, uh, okay, uh, okay, it's going with the setup function, but not setup script tag. Okay, let's, let's, let's try this, let's try this. Uh, Set a function returns an object. Yep. So it, you'll see it will it gives you an example as well, like how things work. Okay, let's try this. Let's say with setup script tag. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. You see it has created a setup script tag, and there you go. There you go. Okay, okay. Okay, it has given us two version for some reason. So one, this is actually not needed. So, okay, as you see, like, it is great. It's a great tool. It gives answers to your question. That's totally fine. Over the period of time, definitely it will refine. But uh, like, 
I still believe that you will need a human aspect or human element in this to correct certain things. So definitely, like personally, it's my personal opinion again. I don't think so, at least in, let's say, next near future or whatnot, these tools will replace human beings. Maybe they will improve the productivity dramatically or they are actually improving the productivity. The next thing I'm going to show you, it would be super crazy. So I'm creating this, like I'm running a bootcamp uh, in January and I want to, let's say I want to create a LinkedIn post for this. So let's start a new thread. So it starts with fresh because it sometimes relates to its uh, previous threads that we have asked it. So this time I'm going to say, create a LinkedIn post for this event with some hashtags. Okay. Let's see what it does. Let's see. Let's see. And we'll put the link, hit enter. Okay, so that's a short and sweet post. That's great. Now let's try again, try it again. And this time you'll see it might give us a different content. So that's the beauty of generative AI. Like every time you try something, the content is not exactly the same. It tries to improve from the previous content. And once we get a content, let's, let's ask it to refine it. And let's see, if, does it refine it for us? Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> uh, okay, now let's say refine this post by adding the text stack that will be covered in this bootcamp. Now, I haven't mentioned text stacks anywhere. They are all in this link. Let's see if it can catch it from that link. Wow, look at this, guys. Yes, I'm doing React and Node.js bootcamp, also Next.js and Python. It didn't cover Python, which is totally fine. Maybe it's not mentioned in the description or maybe it didn't catch it, but it literally catched it well. And wow, okay, this is amazing. Like, personally, I'm finding it great. And it's not just these posts, like you can create multiple posts and also you can like correct the code. So let's say in this case, let's say I have error in this code. Let's say I do something like this. And I get this code and ask this uh, chat GPT. Okay. Can you correct this code for me? Okay. Let's see what's wrong in this code. Now it's, it will analyze the code and let's see what it gives us in return. Okay. Okay. And there you go. It corrected the code for us. It did correct the code. So that's the beauty of this uh, generative AI tools or AI tools in general. Like personally, I'm a big fan of them. And what I like about it is that it corrects those human errors and it improves your productivity. So uh, that's all in this video. Let me know in the comment section, what do you feel about this tool? And if you have tried this tool yet, if you have tried it, feel free in the comment section to put in like what was your experience and please feel free to share your experience in the comment section so if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so see you in the next video till the next time goodbye